What's up folks, Alex from Swamp Rat Fishing here. Today, we got a tackle unboxing from the Labor Day sale uh, from Tackle Warehouse. Uh, pretty excited, a lot of new stuff in here. Some new techniques, uh, some new trailers. Uh, but before we break into this, let's do what we do. Nice cold beverage as we talk about these baits. Uh, so yeah, um, Tackle Warehouse was running their uh, Labor Day sale. Couldn't uh, turn down the opportunity uh, to get some more tackle, so. That's uh, the shipping list. All right, so let's break into this. Uh, first thing, let's uh, see what we got here. So this isn't new. Uh, this would just be a rehash. Uh, but these are the uh, the Wacky Jig Heads that I use. These are in 1 8 ounce. These are the Mustad Ultra Point Wacky Jig Heads. These are amazing. Um, I'll show some close-up footage. Uh, all of this is going to include close-up footage of the baits uh, as I talk over it. Uh, but these are awesome. I need to pick some up. Damn pickerel have been uh, tearing them apart. Uh, let's see here. We got... Kind of do them in some kind of order. Uh, let's see here. All right, so we got... Those are the real ones that I wanted to see. Oh, there we go. There they are. Okay, so we've got four new colors of the Ned Bomb that I haven't used before. Uh, we've got the uh, the purple cloud chartreuse tail. Uh, I kind of really like this one. It's got a real smoke body to it and a real bright tail. We've got uh, the purple smoke core. So these are some of their core shots. So what I like about missile baits, uh, I noticed the new hat too, pick that up, but uh, is that they do these uh, core shots with these Ned baits. So that's really nice. Um, this one's grape soda tail. Again, I'm gonna show all these down below. And then uh, watermelon red core. That one looks amazing. It's good stuff. Uh, I can't wait to throw all those. Should be great. Um, we'll see. So uh, on the advice of Tactical Bassin, uh, they talked about using these uh, D Walker 100s right here uh, as a really good swim bait trailer. So I'm excited to try these. These look pretty bulky. Um, yeah, so you can see the three colors that I got them in. We got a uh, PB Red a shamrock shad and then a standard pearl i think i want to see on these let's uh break them open they are kind of spendy and uh you only get four per pack which i mean if they work that's good right but let's see uh oh they got a good waggle on them they look like they're going to be uh, a lot sturdier than the kytex i like the big thump that the kytex give and these ones uh are definitely giving it. I dig it. I dig it. So, those should be a nice addition. So, like I said, three of those to try out. New trailers. Um, let's go back to missile baits. Um, got a couple things from them, actually, to talk about. So, these are the uh, the Quiver 6.5s. So I got them in June Bug, the Watermelon Red Core, and a Watermelon uh, Red Candy. So, uh, and then I also picked up some of the Nico weights. So these, I, I plan on trying out Nico rigging. Uh, I haven't done that before. Uh, figured why not give it the old dangle. Uh, these look awesome, it's gonna be great. They also got a couple of their uh, Ned Ball uh, jig heads in 116th. So uh, we'll see how those work. They, they, they look good. They look like your standard Ned head. Um, the, the ones from Z-Man are pretty expensive. Uh, these are right uh, in line. I mean, not crazy expensive for the quality that you get. So uh, these definitely do have a lighter wire hook. So we'll see how that works. But uh, excited to try those. We got, so 
Again, back to our trailers. Now we're gonna pivot back to the trailers, all right? So we've got a bunch of Rage Menaces. Uh, everybody talks about using these with your swim jigs, things like that. So uh, I'm excited to give that a go. I've tried a couple colors. I haven't had a lot of success except for using the swim bait style. Um, but I have been noticing I've been getting some short strikes. So uh, I think this will help alleviate some of that. Um, I've got uh, two in pearl. I've got uh, two in bluegill color. And then uh, one in blue craw red, and then one in sungill. So uh, all clear water applications. I think it'll work great, I think, though. Um, and then probably uh, last on the trailers, for sure, is these uh, the Zayco, the, uh, the four-inch Zayco from Gary Yamamoto. Uh, these are wonderful. I see these, uh, a couple of guys I follow, Greg Blanchard is one that uses these a lot. So... Uh, I got them in uh, Electric Shad, this Disco Green that just looks amazing, real good clean watercolor. And then uh, this black with large blue flake, I think that'll run well with the, uh, the bluegill color that I run on my swim jig. So, look forward to giving that a try. Should be really good. Um, kind of want to see the action on these. I don't know if you guys have used these before. Comment down below. Oh man, no scent. They've got a, it's a really floppy tail. That thing is going to thump, thump, thump. Uh, that's really cool. I think that should run nice. Um, got some of the appendages there to give it some more kick. Uh, should be good. Six each per pack. Again, these are kind of spendy too, but they catch, they catch. Uh, and then finally, for all the wacky rigging I do, uh, you might be able to see it in an upcoming video, uh, but as a whole, I mean, I go through a ton of soft plastic. They're constantly getting kicked off. So uh, I finally, for all these years, got myself one of those uh, wacky rigging tools. This is from Lethal Weapon Lure Company, um, and I got an additional 50 O-rings for it. So uh, we'll see if maybe I can salvage some of these, uh, some of these uh, awesome soft plastics that I have. Uh, other than that, the most important thing, when you buy all that, you get a sweet sticker, right? And that's what we all do this for. All right, guys. Uh, short one. Just want to end it off our week on uh, tackle videos. Uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one.